Now I'm going to make an escape agent, which will turn on the turn until free agent, as well as activate the move backwards agent. Like usual, I start with a suppressed activation node. I also drag the move backward and turn until free agents onto the screen. I connect the suppressed activation output to the activation of both child agents. I'm also going to add a gain value to the move backward activation so it doesn't back up at full speed. The turn until free agent needs a trigger to start it, so I use an above or below node to get trigger outputs from the input activation. When the input activation turns on, it fires the go above trigger, which I attach to the start trigger. When the input activation goes below the threshold, it fires the go below trigger, which I'll use to turn off the turn until free agent. Now that I've made the escape agent, I need an agent that turns it on when it detects that the car is stuck. I'll add another folder to the behavior control folder called high level behaviors and add an agent called escape when stuck. This agent will have a suppressed activation node to turn it on and off. It needs access to the escape agent so it can turn it on, and it needs to know when the front is blocked. I want the become block trigger to turn on the escape agent, but only when the escape agent when stuck control agent is activated. To do this, I'll use a trigger if active node, which passes through the trigger event only when the agent is on. I'll pass this trigger through to a switch. When the switch is on, it passes its activation value to the escape agent. When the escape agent finishes, it should turn off the switch, so I connect the triggers. I can test this behavior by turning the activation on, then placing my hand in front of the front sensor. After a second or two, the escape agent will activate until I move my hand or the three second timer runs out. I need a high level agent to control which is the active behavior. I add an agent to the high level behaviors folder and name it movement behavior arbitration. It starts like always with a suppressed activation node, and like most of the behavior agents, it can be either on or off, so I use the clamp. I drag the wander and escape when stuck agents onto the node screen and connect the suppressed activation to both of them. When the escape agent is escaping, I want to turn off the wander agent So I connect the is on output value to the suppression input on wander. Back on my top level control agent, I delete the stuff I don't need and drag the movement behavior arbitration agent onto the screen. I also add the button agent created earlier. I want to use the button to turn on and off the movement control, so I use the switch node. The button toggles the switch, and the switch activation turns on and off the movement behavior. Again, I compile and upload the program and test out the robot, which when turned on should move forward, avoiding walls, and escaping if it gets stuck. Now that the robot control is getting a bit complicated, I want to start using LEDs as indicators. First, on the top level control agent, I add the yellow LED agent and attach the switch activation to it so it lights up when the movement control is turned on. Next, I want to control the RGB LED for different behaviors. I make a new folder called Indicators and add a new agent called RGB LED Status Wander. I drag the RGB LED agent onto the node screen, add a clamp suppressed activation node, 
and attach the suppressed activation value to the green input. While wandering, I want the LED to fade to red as the car approaches a wall in front. I drag the distance sensor agent onto the node screen and connect it and the suppressed activation output to the red input and change the blend mode to multiply. Using my hand, I can see that the LED fades to yellow as an obstacle gets closer. While raising the red value, I also want to reduce the green value, so I use a flip value node on the distance activation and attach it to the green input and change its blend mode to multiply so it acts as a gain. Now when I move my hand, the LED fades from green to red. Back on the Movement Behavior Arbitration Agent, I drag the new LED Status Wander Agent and connect the Wander Agent's suppressed activation output to it. When the car is in escape mode, I want the RGB LED to blink red. I add another agent called RGB LED Status Escape. As in the blink example, I use a timer and switch to turn the red value on and off. I use an above or below node to start and stop the timer when the agent is turned on and off. Again, on the Movement Behavior Arbitration Agent, I add this new status agent and hook it up to the Escape When Stuck Agent's Is On output. Again, I test the robot. Pressing the button starts it driving. If I cover the side sensors, I can see the car turns away from that side. If I cover the front sensor, the car escapes and blinks red until I move my hand or the time runs out. This already is a pretty complete control system, but I want to add one more behavior. Every so often I want the car to stop wandering and randomly turn. I add a new agent called Random Turn to low-level behaviors. It starts with a suppressed activation node with a clamped output, as well as the Turn Left and Turn Right agents. Similar to the Turn Until Free agent, this agent will have a random number node to pick the direction. I rename its input trigger to start and make it external. I attach its output to an above or below node and attach the is above output to the turn left activation and the is below output to the turn right activation. I also connect the suppressed activation to both child agents and set their blend modes to multiply. When the start trigger fires, I want to turn on an internal switch and turn it off again after a random time. I add a switch node, a timer, and another random number generator. I connect the first random number generator's refresh trigger to the second random number generator. This random number controls the duration of the timer, and it starts the timer when it refreshes. The timer turns on the switch when it starts, and turns it off when it finishes. I set the timer's max duration to 3 seconds, and adjust the random minimum value to my liking.
To make the movement a little bit more natural looking, I attach the switch activation to a value lag node, then attach its output to the turn agents. Now when I click the input trigger, a random side is picked, the switch is turned on to start the turn, and a random length timer controls how long to turn for. Outside agents will want to know some things about this agent, so I rename the switch output triggers to started and finished and make them external. I'll also want an activation value exposed when the turn is happening. I add a blend inputs node, multiply together the switch activation and the suppressed activation, rename the output to is on and make it external. I go back to the movement behavior arbitration agent and drag on the new random turn agent. I hook up the suppressed activation to its input activation and the escape is on value to its suppression so it is turned off when the car is escaping. I want the LED to be blue when randomly turning, so I make another LED status agent that activates the blue input. I add this new LED agent to the arbitration agent and connect the is on value to it. Now I have two top level behaviors, wander and random turn, but only one can be active at a time. The escape when stuck agent turns on when it needs to, suppressing both the other agents, but I need a way to decide which top level agent has control. For this I'm going to use a pass through highest activation node. I click the add button twice for my two states. For each added state, this node has a set containing an input activation and an output activation and trigger. I rename the inputs to wander desire and random turn desire. Then I rename the outputs wander activation and random turn activation. I attach the output activations to the behavior agent's input activations. I also attach the random turn activation trigger to the random turn start trigger to turn it on. Wander is the default behavior, so I set its input activation to some high constant. I make a new folder in the behavior control folder and call it desires. And add an agent called random turn desire. To keep this example simple, I'll just use a timer node. I set the max seconds to something kind of high like 8, and the end behavior to high so the output stays at 1 when the timer is done. I add a random number generator to vary the speed of the timer, and a startup trigger so that the timer starts when the program starts. I rename the timer's output to desire and make it external. And rename the random number trigger to start and make it external as well. I drag the desire agent onto the arbitration agent and connect its agent to the pass through node. Finally, I attach the random turn finish trigger to the desire start input so that the timer restarts after the random turn. Now my project is done, so I do a final compile and upload and test out my finished robot.